Hi, this is Zach Mir, editor of Spreadbet magazine, with a look at the three major currency crosses against the dollar. And I'm starting off with dollar yen, where obviously uh, the focus is still on the yen weakening due to abenomics and the hope that uh, after the consolidation uh, since May, really between 94 and 104 yen, we're going to get a breakout. The chances of that are reasonably high still. Uh, we've got consolidation around the 20-day moving average or just above that, 102.13. That was uh, that's above former July resistance and September resistance as well. So uh, it looks as though there's a decent chance of a, an ongoing uh, uh, recovery for this market or a breakout. Uh, RSI support line as well since October. We need to bounce off that possibly to trigger the next move to the upside. Uh, 106 a target while above the 20 day line, possibly even higher than that if this uh, resistance line projection is actually up towards 108, 109. Uh, which would be the upper parallel of the uh, the May support line. So a, a constructive picture there at uh, dollar yen, if not one which uh, requires a little bit more weighting uh, in terms of uh, any new uh, significant price action. On to uh, euro dollar, and uh, this is a market where I'm so I've been bullish all year. I remain uh, bullish in a sort of do or die type of way, and uh, not difficult on a technical basis given the way that we had the golden cross. Uh, golden cross is between uh, the leading uh, moving averages, the 20-day, 50-day, and 200-day moving averages in July. Uh, another golden cross buy signal between the 20-day and the 50-day moving averages now, and a likely bull flag above the 10-day moving average at 137.08. So uh, even though probably everyone and their mother is going short towards 138, the high of the year, uh, I reckon this is just this is just the market allowing people uh, enough uh, rope to hang themselves before a new leg to the upside. Uh, the top of the uh, July price channel looks looks like it's towards one dollar forty one, and uh, at least while we're above, say, the fifty day moving average at one thirty five ninety six, uh, I think this market's going to break out and uh, do uh, what probably most traders are not expecting. Another situation here on the uh, Dollar weakness front is uh, pound dollar, where there is a sort of a, a break to new highs for the year already. In fact, we're consolidating above previous resistance around 163, 162.50. Uh, floor of a rising trend channel from July, uh, based at 163 as well. And uh, really, probably one would say above the 50 day moving average at $1.6154, uh, this market is going to continue building. Uh, I like the RSI support line here as well, and the RSI at 55, that shows. Uh, a, a strong consolidation and uh, one would be looking towards uh, the, the implied target of 169, 170 uh, against the dollar for cable and uh, that could be achieved over the next uh, four to six weeks so maybe as soon as the end of uh, January once the latest tapering news uh, coming up on Wednesday uh, is out of the way. Uh, basically uh, the view is that that really will be a non-event uh, in terms of the currencies uh, dollar weakness uh, is shown here on the technical side and that is expected to continue. That's it for me. See you again next time.